Welcome back to the programme. Now, this week, the BBC is launching a new programme for teenagers who want to know more about the stories that are shaping our world. Uh, I'm joined by the show's new presenters, but before we hear from them, let's just get a taste of what my world is all about. Have a look at this. Is our planet dying? Does technology shape our lives? Why do we fight wars? What's life in prison like? How do you become an Olympic champion? How do you get people to listen to you? Can you trust everything you see online? How do you change the world? Does everyone think like me? Well, as you've seen, the new hosts are with me, Radzi Chenyanganga and uh, Nomia Iqbal are with me. And uh, this is an exciting new project. Just tell me more about it, first of all. Yeah, it's a moment of pride, actually, I think, for us, because it all starts on Sunday, but it's been a long time in the making. And the whole aim of it, the inception, is to provide news and current affairs and tell global stories to young people, but not children, but people that are young adults trying to formulate their current idea and understanding of the world. And what sort of stories, then, do you think you'll touch upon? Lots of issues that young people are interested in. Climate change, for example, we know is a, is a big issue, but we're looking at lots of things which involve kind of like lifting the curtain a bit. So you get deep faked, don't you? Totally. In the um, actual, in one of the programmes, we look behind fake news. I've just recently come back from the Amazon rainforest to look at the issue of climate change. As you do. <laughs> As you do. So she I've been got going the good on and gig. on about it. She got the good gig. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Um, but, you know, it's, we are really excited about it because it is a global first in the sense that there's no show globally that's dedicated to this particular age group. So we're talking about the 13 year olds, which is kind of that tricky age, isn't it, where yeah. you're a child, but you're an adult as well. So. Uh, I'll come back with uh, mm -hmm. a couple of thoughts on all of that. But uh, why don't I just put another clip on the screen to give people just a little flavour of the sorts of things you're going to touch upon. Let's have a look at this. Often in the newspaper, we read stories of women being attacked and in our culture, many people think that it's a man's responsibility to protect his wife, his sister or his mother. And I just think it's high time that women, you know, are able to stand up for themselves. Yay! I started karate when I was around 12 and I got my black belt last year. Karate gives me the skills to be able to equip myself and also become more independent and disciplined. But even in the market... So tell me a little more about the thought process of the stories that you pick because are you looking for stories that currently aren't being focused on or are you approaching stories we all know about in a different way? What, what is the difference here with this programme? Well, in terms of what you've just seen there, so there's you know, a young girl, she's got her own blog and she's tackling the whole issue of gender-based violence in, in India and saying, you know what, I'm taking control, I'm you know, trying to, to tackle it myself. So it's kind of a mix of a lot of stories, but you know, it is, is bringing it all into one programme for that age group that you don't see anywhere else. I suppose the first question we're asking is, is it relevant to that audience? But it doesn't matter whether you are in China, India or London, if it's relevant to them, we're going to find a way to use our platform to tell that story and actually not tell it from London, go to India and hear Pallavi's story because it's inspirational. And you talk about the platform, but you've got some big names in terms of the co-production here, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. Well, my name is Radzi Chinyan Gang, so it's a pretty big name. But we've also got... <laughs> Always concentrate on yourself. Always. <laughs> Very good idea. Yeah. I'm your sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. But Angelina Jolie is our co-executive producer and it was kind of her idea, well, that was the inception of it. It happened about a year ago and roll on 12 months. We've got a really passionate team that worked incredibly hard to make this possible. Mm. But she's the real creative influence. And Microsoft also uh, linked in with it. I mean, let's go back just to find a question about uh, the age category because we're always told in the media that, uh, you know, young people are not watching linear television mm. and all of that. And yet you're creating a program to go on television. Well, it will, it will go on TV, but it will be on YouTube, it will be on social media. And with that age group, we know they're all over social media. That's where they get their news. It's our way of saying, look, here we are. We are the, the most trusted news organisation in the world. So, so have a look at this to get your facts right on all the sorts of issues that you're hearing about. And misinformation, uh, you Absolutely. know, that is a, an area of huge uh, concern, isn't it? And, and uh, you were talking about deep faking. Tell me very briefly, 30 seconds about what they did with you. So deep fake, essentially, they take my face, they turn it into a 3D model, essentially, which is on screen, digitised, and then I can be in my bedroom that I was and appear like I'm in the new studio. So I'm sure you'd love it. You could broadcast here from your <laughs> bedroom. And so the premise, therefore, being... Yeah, they did it with me about uh, a year ago. It, it is quite startling. When you see it, Correct. it is quite yes. startling. Isn't it? Listen, we've run out of time, but thank you, thank you so thank much you, for coming Matthew. in and talking about this new programme. Uh, and thanks so much for your time. Uh,